Hello family, welcome back to my channel, Twitch Lamaduma here. This is your very first time coming through, you are welcome. I'm hoping that by the end of this video, you would have decided to join this family officially by hitting up that subscribe button over there. To my returning subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Really, really appreciate your consistency and you coming through every single week. It really means a lot to me. We are on hashtag September self love 2022. And I would like to start by thanking you very, very much for joining me in this challenge. It really has been a challenging experience because there's a lot to reflect on, a lot of self-introspection that has been happening. And I'm hoping that on week one, you really, really took time to question and understand who you are and be proud and be ready to celebrate that and hopefully it's going to be a great foundation as you start on this journey to love yourself completely and wholly without wasting any time let's get on to week two and our topic today is making healthy choices enjoy Right. So part of loving yourself is making healthy choices. You know, it's very easy for us to tell our friends or those that we love to say, no, friend, don't do this, do that. No, I think this is better. Oh, yeah, no, uh, this is great. Or no, I don't think this is working out. This is really going to end badly. But it's very hard to take that advice and practice it ourselves and this month, we are really challenging ourselves, particularly this week, to make healthy choices for ourselves. If we claim to love ourselves as much as we say we do, then we need to make healthy choices because whatever choices, whatever decisions that we make today are going to play a huge role into the people that we become tomorrow. So, number one, protect your mind. There are two layers when it comes to protecting your mind that I want us to focus on. The first one is the things that you expose your mind to. So the, these are the things that you see. These are the things that you hear. These are the environments that you are around that you put yourself in, right? So be careful of the kind of music that you listen to, the kind of shows that you watch, the kind of books that you read, because it really plays a huge role in shaping your thought process and of course thoughts then build habits habits build character and that's who you are eventually so be careful of the things that you expose yourself to it is easier for you to learn something than to unlearn something so if you can avoid getting your mind messed up through certain words that are just not good for you, through certain pictures that are not supposed to be seen, then do so. This will also help you to not make influenced decisions because your mind is clean, your mind is clear. So always ensure that you acquaint yourself with the word of God. I would that say by beholding, we become changed. So whatever it is that you continuously behold, it's going to change you. So if you'd like to live a principled life, which of course gives testimony of the fact that you really love yourself so much that you are growing into the likeness of Christ, then expose yourself always to the word of God so that it can be the one that changes you. The second layer of protecting your mind is protecting your peace. Some of us are in environments, are in situationships that are just not good for us. We are in work environments. It can be a relationship that's just not good for you. It can be anything that you know you have control over. As you see that it's not good for you, it's making you to feel little, it's always filling you with negative thoughts, it's leaving you unsettled half of the time, let that go. Protect your peace, protect your mind always. So the second aspect of loving yourself is govern your body. We all know how hard it is sometimes to resist temptations. Our bodies want all sorts of things at all sorts of times. And those things may not be good for us many a times. 
So it is very, very important that we govern it. We are the ones that have power over it. We are the ones that need to rule our bodies and let our bodies subject to our minds, which of course is subjected to God's principles and the Holy Spirit, right? We have so many cravings. Our bodies have food cravings. We end up eating when we are not supposed to. We have sexual cravings. We end up being intimate with people that we are not supposed to be intimate with at a time that we are not supposed to be intimate with. You know, um, sometimes we end up even doing excessive physical activity of course, that is influenced by some certain um, thoughts that a person have. So it is important that you always govern your body. Be the one that is in charge of your body and not your body in charge of you. Because at the end of the day, you'll find yourself making certain decisions and choices that will later affect you in your life. So always be in control. And that is why it's very, very important for you to protect your mind so that it can be the one that has so much power to control the rest of your body. And by God's grace, you will be able to do so, of course, as you continuously subject it into God's will and power. Right, the last but not least, guard your heart. This has to be one of the hardest ones. I have struggled with it almost my whole entire life. And that is because we are very emotional beings, you know, especially as women. We are very emotional. We are very expressive. So it's very, it's very easy for us to be controlled, to be easily taken by our emotions. There are two layers into this aspect that I want us to look at when it comes to guarding our hearts. The first one is avoiding voluntary hurt. I say voluntary hurt because it is us being prematurely committed into something that we are not invited to be committed to. For example, relationships, a guy is still just getting to know you. They haven't said much, you know, they haven't communicated anything and you've already given yourself to this person. You are already girlfriending him before he boyfriends you so you have now invited yourself into voluntary hurt because you will be disappointed easily when they are not interested in that manner and now you have a broken heart so guard your heart all the time give room for disappointment even if you are in a relationship i'm not saying do not trust partners that you are with but i'm just saying always be aware be conscious have room for disappointment because that's what hurts us the most having expectations and those expectations not being met and we are hurt so first guard your heart in that sense. other layer of guarding your heart is always not to take everything personal right do not take everything personal just because somebody hates you or you think they hate you or they spoke very bad towards you does not mean that you are the problem all the time many a times people just have their own insecurities and at the end of the day that affects you so always guard your heart in that sense so that you do not get affected easily by people that go against you or people that work against you so protect your emotions protect your heart all the time do not put yourself into situations that are going to harm you always choose to be happy always avoid being surrounded by negativity as much as you can right so these are all the three aspects that i want us to consider as we go into this week as part of making healthy choices protect your mind govern your body and guard your heart always make great decisions when it comes to that why because you are a combination you are a build up of those three aspects of your life you are your mind you are your body you are your emotions so once those things are not aligned, once they are not in place, it is easy for you to make decisions that are not good for you. 
be conscious always about what you expose your mind to be conscious of always about what you expose your body to what you expose your heart to because this makes up who you are your character is being built up within those three aspects of your life so take care of them all the time love yourself and be intentional about it. hoping that you took something today and we are going to go into this week being very very intentional about taking care of ourselves and making healthy choices in all three aspects of our lives take care of yourself and above and beyond everything love god love yourself and love others and that's a wrap thank you so much for hanging out with me if you like this video give me a thumbs up let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you haven't already subscribe show me some love by sharing and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video have a good one